Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and welcome guests. Let me first introduce myself by my name. My name is Kitty. Okay, let me make it easy for you. It is spelled as K-I-R-T-I. -I. I'm often asked to speak my name several times when I meet someone. I'm glad people ask me to do so. They learn to pronounce my name correctly, and I absolutely love to hear my name. I think it's a beautiful name with a beautiful meaning. It means pain or glory. It, it has originated from the Sanskrit language, which is one of the most ancient languages in India. As a child, I'd always wanted to become a teacher. The thought of supervising and scolding the students was just so exciting for me. <laughs> I used to have these imaginary classes at my home every evening. I would place about 20 books on my bed, pretending each book was one student. It was a good thing because I was always prepared for my next class since I taught my students whatever I learned in school that day. Another good thing was that I could scold the girl I hated the most in school. She was the most ugly book laid on my bed. I think I practiced this till I was in the sixth or the seventh grade and then I started to think it was a kid's game. I grew up in the northeastern part of India in a city called Patna. In perspective, it is close to the place where the great Buddha was born. I, after my 10th grade, I traveled to various places in India, starting from the northeastern part of India. Then I moved to Jaipur, which is in the northwest part of India, and then further west to Mumbai for my master's degree. Undoubtedly, this has been a great learning experience for me. For the first two years of my life after my away from home, I even uh, lived in boarding schools. I belong to a family of doctors. My parents, my sister, my uncle are all doctors. I'm the youngest in the family, pampered, protected, and as my husband say, a little spoiled too. I always enjoy the advantage of being the youngest. I'm sure everybody in this room who, who, who are the youngest in their families will certainly agree with me. My elder sister, who's a doctor, is 12 years older to me. So when she was taking her medical exams, I was quite young. I had seen her study and slog for it, and I knew this was not what I wanted to do. I could not cram so much. I was always better with numbers. So naturally, I took more interest in math and economics. And so I happened to pursue masters in finance in India. Currently, I'm pursuing a pro global professional program called the Chartered Financial Analyst. It is focused on in an intensive study on the, in the investment world. The financial system works differently in US and in India. So I thought this program would benefit me a lot in understanding the financial system here and becoming a part of it. Okay, now let me tell you something more about my personal life. Most marriages in India are arranged marriages, and so is mine. I have been married just four months and I'm completely enjoying the, this phase of my life. Our parents introduced us on the phone, and then we met. What picture this? We met for the first time in the midst of about 15 more people. That included six, seven kids. They seemed to be just so excited about the whole thing. I was so nervous, and this little bunch of kids sitting right across us looked at us, whispered something amongst themselves, looked back at us, and then giggled. It was just so funny. As it goes, we got married soon after in India, which was a lavish wedding affair. This is my wedding picture. And then I moved to Austin about three months back. My husband, Akshay, was already working here with Dell after having completed his MBA from Vanderbilt University in Nashville. I'm a homemaker right now, but I'm looking for the job opportunity. This entails getting my work visa sponsored by an employer in the US. I hope all the recruiters in the room are listening that. So I felt the need to go out and meet some more people. I came to Austin Toastmasters once as a guest, and I knew I wanted to join this. I could not have gotten a better platform to get over my shyness and meet such wonderful people coming from different walks of life to share their stories. And so here I am to share my stories too. But in the end, ladies and gentlemen, I would take the role of the listener for a few more seconds and ask you one big question. How would you speak my name? 
Kirti. 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 Yes. Thank you.